Welcome back friends, I'm Rajiv Korpati. I'm a medical doctor based in the United States. I do hospital medicine and integrative medicine. What is this latest buzz about the ranitidine, Zantac, taken out of the market in Indian market? There is a list that the Indian government releases every year called National List of Essential Medicines. It was initially put together in 1996 with uh, 279 drugs in their first release of this list. So what is this national list of emergency uh, essential medicines and why? what has that to do with ranitidine or uh, a type of H2 blocker? It, ranitidine is uh, is a class it belongs to a class of medicines called h2 blockers which is used for the treatment of acid reflux you know you have what is called gerd gerd gastroesophageal reflux disease or acid reflux now what is all this buzz about now about ranitidine this is not a new thing I'll tell you what uh, events led to this decision by the government of India, by the health ministry. And let us see what is NLEM, National List of Essential Medicines. As I said before, in 1996, India released essential drugs, which are 279. What are these essential drugs? The a committee consists of hundreds, I think around 300 um, players in the committee consists of pharmaceutical pharmacists, uh, regulatory agencies, doctors, and others come together and weigh in what are the drugs that are safe, effective, and and once they are de deemed to be safe and effective, the government tries to limit or cap the prices on them so that the people can use them effectively. People can use them um, um, uh, when they need them. Need them. So initially, 279 drugs. These drugs included anywhere from high blood pressure, cancer drugs, um, diabetes, endocrine medicines, hormones. Uh, you know, so many drugs, even over-the-counter medications were included in it. Every year, this committee sits together and releases a new list saying that some of the drugs in this list are removed because they are no more safe or effective. And it, this committee adds a few more drugs to this list. See, in 2022, they released uh, a, a new set of drugs. 34 new drugs were added to this national list of uh, essential medicines, NLEM, national list of essential medicines. 34 new drugs were added and 26 drugs were removed from that list or dropped from that list. Of this 26, um, this Zantac or Ranitidine which is a type of H2 blocker was one of the drugs. Why was it removed? What is the history behind it? Let us dive deep into the history of this ranitidine. It is an over-the-counter medication. It was first uh, it was first uh, put into the market by Glaxo, Glaxo company in 1980. 83 it that was the first time it received FDA approval in America in the United States to sell Zantac under the trade name Zantac glass Glaxo Glaxo company in 1983 in 1988 it became the world's best selling drug to treat ulcers and heartburn and acid reflux world's best selling drug the company made billions of dollars in by 1988 so in this from 1983 to 1988 in this five year period billions of dollars were made out of this drug by 1997 roughly nine uh, nine years after the patent that the glaxo company held up until the time that time expired so in 2004 
1997 the patent expired in 2004 pfizer got an approval from fda to sell zantac over the counter there is no patent but pfizer got the rights to sell the drug under the name zantac but over the counter not a prescription drug however 15 years later uh, by 2019 september fda received warnings about uh, a particular chemical within this uh, uh, zantac the ranitidine particular chemical called ndma that is found within these pills within this drug that is carcinogenic which means that can cause certain types of cancer the common types of there are many cancers but the common type of cancers that this drug was attributed to or colon prostate and uh, let us see colon uh, bladder colon and prostate cancer bladder cancer colon and prostate cancer so in 2019 fda received all these complaints about the drug by 2020 april fda issued warnings that all the ran- ranitidine should be recalled from the market and no more production should be into the uh, market no more manufacturing of by 2020 so in this time uh, many other countries see every country has its own policy um, policies about what drugs to be um, banned or what drugs to be recalled what drugs to be uh, uh, stopped from manufacturing and so on india the health minister of india included in 2022 september which is this month released a new list of national list of essential uh, medicines and of that it removed ranitidine and said that ranitidine should not be used anymore because of the high risk of cancer so if you are using ranitidine probably not because it's um, pretty much out of the market now but if you are using ranitidine then it is time to stop it and there was a warning issued a couple of years ago in the united states that short term use of ranitidine is okay which is which may short term means about 2 weeks or so but long term use causes cancers okay. the list of the list of the drugs that were removed from the national list of essential medicines in 2022 are alteplase atenolol these are very common drugs that we use Alte- alteplase is a type of uh, uh, clot busting medicine atenolol bleaching powder capriomycin cetrimide chloramphenicillin diloxanide furoate dimercaprol erythromycin erythromycin antibiotic very common it ethyl estradiol ethyl estradiol plus nor uh, ethysterone gancyclovir canamycin methyl dopa nicotinamide pentamidin procarbazine ranitidine sucralfate petro white petroleum so many drugs you know this this is some of the drugs of the 26 i'm not going to list the whole thing but these are some of the common drugs uh, that were some of the drugs that were uh, re- in the list of the uh, drugs removed from the uh, the uh, list of essential medicines so that is the story behind the ranitidine 